Hello and welcome back to Forgotten Sea. D. Please. We've just visited this lake we have here. In here, we've never really read that. Don't steal anything, don't hurt anyone, don't. Whoever wrote this didn't get a chance to finish, evidently. Yeah, bro. Oh, the amphitheater. I saw you, okay? I saw you moved your head. The Myth of the Golden Rule by Dorotas the Younger. As per our custom, I shall begin by paying my respects to the god responsible for the city. For our continued prosperity and tranquil seclusion, he deserves our admiration. But here I must depart from custom, for his attempt at imposing strict rule upon us is oppressive and overreaching, and deserving of our contempt. Who among us has not awoken at night in a cold sweat, fearing some sort of accidental transgression of the golden rule? All of us must accept that we are we are all capable of error, whether from a momentary lapse in judgment or a conscious de decision based on faulty reasoning. Yet the great threat, the sword of Democles, that we live under is, I believe, merely a deception, and I shall prove it to you. Let me begin by dismissing the counter-arguments. First, it may be argued that the inscription stating the many shall suffer for the sins of the one is evidence that the golden rule is very real, but that is logically unsound, for we cannot assume the writers knew any more than we did. That this message was inscribed does not make it true any more than if I were to inscribe Dorotas the Younger is a god. Second, it may be argued that the statues in space are evidence that the golden rule is real. You need not remind me of that. It was I who discovered them all around the city. It was I who collected them, placed them in the hand cart, and placed them in the niches in which they sit today. I will not soon forget them, and yet I refuse to leap to the conclusion that they were once real people. There is simply no evidence to support that conclusion. When we read the story of Venice bringing Pygmalion's sculpture Galatea to life, we do not believe it is true. Why should we take a different view here? But ultimately, these arguments are just that. After years of living in fear, there is only one way for me to prove that the golden rule is falsehood, and that is through action. Friends, I apologize in advance for this, but one day you will see this moment as a turning point in our city's history. Let us see, once and for all, if the golden rule is real, as I strike one of you with my fist. Ew. Sounded like a sword. Please stop. Yeah, we haven't really finished talking to you. I'm sorry that the game works the way it works, but I there's Hello. nothing I can do about that. Have we? You're going. Well, I can try. Galerius already tried that. Okay. Maybe I'll just break you out. What about the rules? I don't want everyone to get in trouble because I was bad. And maybe it's time we had a new magistrate. I like Galerius? He's nice. I like Galerius. He made me a doll and everything. If you help make him magistrate, he can get me out of here, and I can give you the key to my treasure. Hannibal said it was in the cisterns. I can't remember what it was, just that it was way up high and very precious. I'll see what I can do about that. You think about the golden rule? Oh, you mean treasure? Let's talk about your treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me. 
he said he always would. But then he said, if any, he gave me this key. Yep. All I remember is now nobody looks after. Fair enough. Off we go uh -oh. now. Yeah, I'm. Hello. Have we met before? My computer might be bye bye. possessed. Okay, I, tr I will. Yep, I tried backing away and said we engage in the talk with him. Can. Oh, what's that? Ulpius of Centilla. The Ulpius killed Centilla. Oh. Okay, let's talk to. Oh, our guy. Wherever he may be. All right. Wherever he may be, we just talk to the to him. Oh, it was yesterday. For it was yesterday for me. It I remember a thing. Salve again, my Sisyphean friend. Now, what's on your mind? Um, oh, what's your story? Well, it's a long one and kind of sad, but... I don't, I don't remember whether we it. if we talked about it. I have time! I'm a farmer. Always yep. happy. I grew up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum, with my parents and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up, but by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground, and our cart was empty. That was my first encounter with the legions. My mother died of a broken heart soon after, and things went downhill from there. I took over the farmstead, but I was young, and it was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing, our stores pillaged. These legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were, and what they wanted. I got my father's old axe. Pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. But there were more of them. I never saw how many, because the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. I still burns whenever I think about it. I am sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. It wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. So, then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome to be sold to the highest bidder. I spent a few years working for my new master learning the Romans' ways, romanized my name and everything. Tried to escape a couple of times, but they always found me, and I'd just end up right back where I was. I'd probably still be there too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming and shouting. I'd never seen anything like it. Human beings acting like cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. The next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. Stumbled across this place and started my life over again. I'm glad things worked out in the end. That's what I thought too, for a while. But it seems the gods aren't done tormenting me yet. See, I finally had my own farm again. Safe from the grasping hands of the Romans. Or so I thought. 
Until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself, of course. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then what if he's right? So he's not. it turns out our dear old magistrate is no better than the Legion thugs who took everything from me. I'm right back where I began. But don't you worry. Nemesis is waiting. And he'll get his one day. He'll get his. Uh forget I said that last part, will you? I get carried away sometimes. Well, it's understandable. Sure. Thanks, friend. I knew I liked you. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? But do you know a way out of here? Well, as much as I'd love to get out of here, the harvest's always more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? But Scintilla, Sentius' daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Yeah, I know Could that. Be she found a way out. If anyone knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia. But she'd never tell the likes of me. Hmm. What do you think about the Golden Rule? Oh, I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here has got their own view about what we need to do to survive. But I say, let's spend less time arguing about what it means to be good and just get on with it, you know? Yeah, what do you think about the election, though? Uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost as bad. Even I could do a better job. Me, a farmer. And I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my life. If I thought about running for the magistrate yourself. I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom, so I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. That's good enough for me. If Malio Lusrance is going to break the golden rule and kill us all. And how could you... Oh, wait. You've seen it yep. in another time loop, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, we need to find a way to make sure Maliolus loses. Better yet, get him to withdraw altogether. I if tried, it didn't that, work. And Sentius is the only candidate left. I'll run against him. Deal? Deal. 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 Right. Hey, all thank right, you. Friend. Hope you find a way to break that cycle you're in. Oh, it tried me. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah, I can hear you move your head. Hmm. Yeah, I know I'm screwed. I'm watched all the time don't worry okay let's talk to the sister maybe Abby. that was creepy I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? I want to talk about your sister. What's your story? I'm Sentia, eldest yes, daughter we know of the magistrate. That, but I'm... What are you doing? I'm not charming. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're out of oh, here. What is it with? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have. May I help? I don't know. I check it now. Oh, oh, not really. So you'll help me find her. Yes, I will do. Oh, thank you. You should probably take a look through her room. It's the one just by the front door. Maybe you'll find something the rest of us missed. I found a letter in her room which mentioned her plan to escape. What? Really? I swear, I searched her room top to bottom and never saw that. And you didn't. I wonder how I could have missed under it. the pillow. Strange, but well done, I suppose. But it's odd. It was only a few months ago that Santilla's friend Yulia let slip she was planning an escape of her own, and yet Yulia's still here. You should go and speak with her. Find out if she knows anything. She lives in the villa next door. 
Yes, I know, she was poisoned. That's why we'll go to the Apollo. Apollo's. Apollo's. Prime. She should be fine by now. Okay, I was like, what the hell happened? We can finally talk. Sorry, I'm still a bit out of it. Galerius just saved my life. And why did you try to take your you life? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. Can I ask what happened to you? You poisoned yourself. As much as I'm grateful that you tried to help me, it's just not safe for me to talk about it. Please, no more questions. Hmm. Are you worried about the golden rule? The golden rule? <laughs> That's the least of my worries. Okay, so it was The gods so. may be cruel, but Maliolus and Claudia are far crueler. Is that who poisoned you? Please, just leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. <sighs> Alright, let's talk about something else. Thank you. I want to... Do you know anything about Scintilla's disappearance? No. I did hear from Ulpius that she disappeared. It's very sad. She was such a lovely young woman. But I'd been locked in Maliolus's villa for months before she went missing, so... I can't help you, I'm afraid. Tentia mentioned you were planning to escape a few months ago. <laughs> I was. And... Look where it got me. What happened? I can tell you, but it's a long story. We have at least 10 minutes, so... Alright. I'd been here about a week. When it dawned on me, I'd be trapped here for the rest of my life. I could hardly breathe, and... I knew I had to get out somehow. So when my new friend Aurelia offered me a secret way out, I would have done anything. And then I learned her asking price. A thousand denarii. She was supposed to be my friend. I told her it would take me years to save up that much. So she suggested I take out a loan from Maliolus. And I did. Thinking you'll be out here before you ever had to pay back the loan? I'm not proud of it, but... Yes. I was surprised he agreed to it, to be honest. But I was so happy to have the money I didn't question it. I had to sign an agreement, saying I'd work off the debt over 30 years. But I figured I'd be out of here so soon it wouldn't matter. I paid Aurelia, and she gave me her so-called way out. Do you want to know what it was? Hemlock. Oh. Drink this, she said, and you'll be out of here in no time. Of course, I demanded my money back, but she refused. She pointed to a sign on her tavern saying, Let the buyer beware. Then she just looked at me with those cruel black eyes and she... She laughed. She immediately told Maliolus I'd tried to escape without paying him back. Only, he didn't seem upset or surprised at all. In fact, he just thanked her. And that's when I realized the two of them had planned the whole thing from the beginning. He surely that would have broken the golden rule. That's what I said to the magistrate. I went to Sentius and begged for help, but he said the law was clear. I'd signed over my labor for 30 years and there was nothing he could do. I thought about resisting too, but Maliola said if I didn't submit, I'd break the golden rule. And I couldn't be responsible for all those deaths, so he locked me in his villa, confiscated everything I owned as collateral, and made me wear immodest, humiliating outfits while I worked day in, day out. His wife, Claudia, was just as bad. 
She sent me to work on an endless stream of futile, demeaning tasks. I'd be on my hands and knees, scrubbing the floor clean for hours. Only for her to pour slop on it and hiss, you missed a spot. Those two took everything from me. <sighs> but they forgot to confiscate one thing. My hemlock. Oh, you poisoned yourself. I just wanted it to be over. But it seems I messed that up too. Should have drunk all of it. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. I brought it on myself. I trusted one of the most callous human beings I've ever met and tried to swindle the other. I don't know how I could have been so stupid. Oh, what will he, what will happen to you now? When I've recovered, I expect their thug Demitius will come for me. He'll escort me back to their villa, and I'll be right back where I started. Only this time, I won't be able to lull myself to sleep at night with the thought of a permanent solution. Honestly, it would have been better if the poison had been allowed to run its course. Can I do anything to help? I doubt it. It seems this is the fate the gods have chosen for me. For trying to escape. At least until someone breaks the golden rule. Huh. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. I have a bit idea. How much would it cost to buy your freedom? A lot. But it doesn't matter. I... I made a suicide pact with Ulpius last night. Oh. He's in exactly the same position as I am. Maliolus and Aurelius set the same trap for him a month after they did it to me. He and I are in this together. He's probably already thrown himself from the bluff into Maliolus's villa by now. If so, I'd never be able to live with myself, knowing I broke my promise to him. Perhaps I can hear it help you too. I doubt you could make it up to the bluff in time. I don't know who you are, or why you seem so determined to help me, but... Thank you. You're welcome. I'll see what I can do All about right. that. But please don't take too long. Well, I'm not gonna say anything now. What's your story? You mean my life story? Yep. Oh. Well... I grew up as part of a big family in Rome. Me and three older sisters. Our father found good husbands for my sisters, but I wasn't, uh, cut out for that kind of life. So he found me a job as a scribe for a prominent merchant. It was a good life for a while. Until seven months ago when the fires came. My colleagues and I worked desperately to try to protect our warehouse. We must have had a hundred workers passing buckets of water, chanting prayers to Vulcan, but they fell on deaf ears. The fire was relentless and it claimed everything and everyone. Well, almost everyone. My employer told me to grab what valuables I could and flee for the Tiber with the crowds. I remember diving into the river and then the next thing I knew, I was waking up on the riverbank not far from here. I am sorry to hear that. Thank you. But to be honest, sometimes I think dying in that fire might have been a blessing. Given what's happened since. Understand. Do you know a way out of here? If that's your idea of a joke, it's not funny. At least I try. Go away. Oh, well, at least I tried, okay? Uh, yeah, I knew it would be better somehow. What does he have? Probably won't make it in that end. He'll make it. I think clean it up. No graffiti. Please don't look at me. You feel you set an order of four bills here and disappeared all of them equally. Yes, well. 
always remember they are watching. Everywhere. They are in the walls of the city, but well, this is a big city. Hi. It's even the more creepy when you see them. Move their heads. The Oh, he didn't jump yet! So I guess this is the palace. I'm locking myself in, don't try to follow me, nothing good will come of it. Navia. Okay, I'm not taking it. Even though it doesn't... Even though it's not marked as a feeling. Well, we know someone has a bow. I'm not taking it! Beyond that point, and he's still up there. I guess we can simply make it. Hello, Sifus. Oh, did he run? I don't want to talk to you, I want to talk with him. Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. Yeah, actually, I really need to talk to Ulpius. All right, well, it was lovely to meet you. You too. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Ulpius, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ulpius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please he won't this. break the golden rule. I've already written that down. Suicide isn't a sin. Well, I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. Okay, so let me try. Uh, do we really think suicide would break the golden rule? I don't know, but it's a crime oh. for slaves to take their own lives. Alright, I'll talk to him. Thank you. Is this what Cynthia would want? You know about that? Yep. How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. You would never believe me if I told you. Well, if you say so. You don't understand. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want it all to be over. Maybe I can help solve your problem. It's too late for It's... That. <sighs> Yulia and I made a pact, and she's already swallowed Hemlock this morning. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. I can't do that. Lucretia was able to get some silver in time to save her life. She's going to be fine. Oh, really? That changes things a little. But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to pay off... I'm close. Oh. Well, no, but I could probably raise the money if you give me some time. No. No. I'm 
arms up. I am out. Wherever you are, send oh, Tilly, my love. Okay, just I'm be over sorry. with it. Oh, Pierce, no! I... I can't believe he went through with it. I... Oh, Lord. That poor lamb. Was that my fault? That was not your fault. Okay, thank you. There's no way you could have given him what he wanted moments after you arrived. What happens now? I'll have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. Yeah, and what do we have in here? Can't unlock it. Well, how much do we have? Not even a thousand. We have the key to Malo's villa. Is this that? And there's that. No. That's Equitia. People mentioned a coin. Oh, right. And the one that's locked the yes. I need to with Navia. I'll find the source of the way. Alright. Clean a bow. Hmm. Yeah, ask Fabia. Who's, who's Fabia? Hmm. Yeah, we should talk about that. Yeah, I can't talk all this about that. How can we pass this test if we don't know the rules? Let's don't play by the rules, I guess. Yeah, I'm fairly sure. Oh, he looks like a Sisyphus. Okay, this is the way into the upper cistern. Into the lower one. I need to get that bow. We need to talk to the princess. So let's talk to the princess. I don't remember who was Fabia. And for now, it's gonna be it. Because I just... Look that we are over 30 minutes. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!